Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Andy here and uh, hope everybody's doing great. So today we're going to be checking out another DB power projector. Now this is the model number RD828A. You can pick it up on Amazon right now for $259.98 with a $100 coupon. So you're going to be able to save yourself a lot of money with this projector. Now this is native 1080p resolution and it also supports 4K. Sorry there for mumbling. It does have 900 ANSI lumens with the 60 hertz refresh rate and it also does have 12 watt dual speaker so they claim it's going to sound loud we're going to test it out it does have bluetooth 5.2 30 degree angle auto vertical correction plus 4p 4d so what that means is you're going to be able to control the corners of the of the image and how you want it to look either sideways straight narrow however you want it to look it does have bluetooth 5.2 with Wi-Fi 6 plus 5G, they do have, a, it does have electric focus. And uh, what that means is you're going to be able to control the focus of the image through your remote because it does have one key remote, which is basically on your remote, it's going to have a one key just to focus on the, on the image itself. It does have iOS cast and Android cast as well. And... 22,000 lumens. So we're going to test the brightness of it. Uh, we're going to test out to see how it looks with the light on, with the light off. We're going to test the speakers, the 12 watt speakers. We're going to see if it's pretty loud or if it's like uh, not that great. So we're going to go ahead and test out this and uh, let's get into it. So this is the box. I haven't opened it. I haven't tested it out. Uh, shout out to the marketing team that sent me this. I asked if I could test this out because I've seen so many great reviews and they were able to send it to me. So again, shout out to the marketing team. Now this is what the box looks like in the front. And on the side, we got specifications. If you want to pause it. The back is the same as the front. And on the side, we got a couple of uh, addresses for contacting information. So with that said, let's go ahead and open it up and see all what it comes with. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. When you open it up, this is what you see. And this is what it comes with. It does come with the backpack. It's very nice, very sleek. I do love the colors of it. Feels very good. Uh, I like that it's included with it just in case you want to take the projector camping or road trips or wherever you want to go. It comes with the backpack. So I thought that was pretty cool. It even has a little name branding on right here. So let's go ahead and open it up and uh, see what it comes with. All right, so when we open it up, it does feel good. So you definitely know it's gonna protect your projector no matter where you take it. Nothing in the sleeve. And looks like we got ourselves a couple of accessories. We're gonna check that out right now. Let's put that aside. So it looks like we have an HDMI cable, an AV cable to auxiliary port, a standard power cable, user manual and a quick start guide along with the remote it's very nice very sleek i love the color of it white and black buttons feel pretty good it doesn't feel cheap now this is the one key focus that they were talking about right here so you're going to be able to control the image of the projector whether if it's blurry you're going to be able to fix that with this remote uh, with this key feature right here so thought that was pretty cool now let's take a look at this bad boy right here. This is the projector itself, the model RD828A. As you see, it is wrapped. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. And after unwrapping it, this is what we see. So it does have a lens cap. Let's go ahead and take that off. I do love the little chrome finish that it has right here. Very nice. Still has the stickers on it, as you see, with the name branding right here on the front. On the side, we got ourselves a vent for air circulation. On the back, it looks like we have two HDMI uh, ports, an AV port, headphone port, two USB ports, and an IR blaster with the power port. Also, it looks like we have ourselves a speaker right here and with tape along the, our tape right here on the back side. On the side right here, we got a filter. So when you want to clean it, if it gets too dirty, just take this out, take the filter, clean it in, clean it out, put it back in, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom. 
On the bottom, you got yourself a little kickstand for better angling. And if you want to ceiling mount it, you're going to be able to do so as well. Let's take a look at the top. You got yourself the power button, the back button, OK button, diagonal buttons. With a 1080p, open your new vision. So with that being said, let's go over the specifications one more time. So let me fix the camera a little bit. There we go. That's better. So again, this is the model number RD828A. And I, I know I said that a couple of times already, but I just want to let y'all know what projector this is. Now, again, it is $259.98 with the $100 coupon. So you're going to be able to save yourself a lot of money. It is 1080p resolution, but it also supports 4K. With 900 ANSI lumens, you should be able to see it in a well-lit room. Uh, not pretty sure how uh, it's going to look, but usually with uh, higher uh, ANSI lumens, in a well-lit room, you should be able to make out the picture. Yeah, it does have a 60 hertz refresh rate. So if you want to connect it to your, if you want to plug a game or screen mirror it, it should do with no issues whatsoever. Uh, the 12 watt dual speakers is something that I do want to test out. I love when a uh, projector has uh, good speakers on it. It just means that you don't have to add an extra Bluetooth speaker to it. Um, Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6 plus 5G. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. It has the latest Bluetooth and 5. Point, uh, Wi-Fi uh, versions of it. And uh, electric focus one key remote. So again, I did show y'all what that is. So basically, uh, when the image is too blurry, you're gonna be able to control it right here with these two buttons: F uh, focus plus focus uh, negative. Uh, what else? Android Cast and the iOS Cast. I will show y'all, uh, I'll probably do it in a separate video, but I'll show y'all how to do that as well. So, but what I do, what I want to test out is the video quality. I'm going to connect my Amazon Fire Stick that's 4K to it. We're going to play a YouTube video, see what's the highest quality we can get. I am going to also test it on with the light on and with the lights off. I'm also going to do a sound quality test to see how well the speakers sound. And uh, yeah, so with that said, let's go ahead and uh, turn it on. All right, so we are back. I did connect it to the power source. And when you have it off, you do see a red light indicator right here that it is off. Now, when you turn it on, it goes from red to blue. I do love that little indicator right there. It's pretty nice. So I do have the projector on and we are going to be testing it out on a 100 inch projector screen. This is what we're going to be testing it out on. It is 100 inches exactly. So we're going to be uh, go ahead and test it out on that with the light on and with the light off. And when you turn it on for the first time, this is what you're going to be greeted with. So this is the home screen. As you see, we have to the left side HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and an AV. In the middle, we got iOS cast, mirror cast, music, film, and photo. So if you have a USB drive, and if you have music or movies or photos you want to share, you would go here and click it. It'll, it also does have office suites, so for presentations or, or business. On the top right here, we got yourself the settings, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and what looks like a unhighlighted Bluetooth logo. So let's go ahead and click the settings. We have Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, projection settings, about, other settings, and system update. Let's go ahead and go to projection settings. Looks like we got projection mode. We are on front desktop and we are going to stay that way because if we switch it, this is what it would look like. So we're going to go ahead and stay on front desktop. Gyro horizon, keystone advance, four point keystone and motor focusing. So again, what I'm shooting on right here or what I'm using is a 100 inch projector screen. As you see, it's not fully uh, cornered. So we're, prob we're probably at 90 inches or 95 inches. So let's see if we could change that with the four point keystone. So as you see, I'm trying to get it to fill the, the screen and just like that, that's what I can get it to. Just like that. Right there and Looks like we can't get it to the left. So let's go ahead and pull this back over here. Just like that. And trying to make it look perfect. All right. So 
that's the best we can do. So let's go ahead and go back. Let's see the system update. No, we don't need to see that. That's only for like firmware updates. If you have it connected to your Wi-Fi. Other settings. Boot source option. We have it at off. Power on option is standby. Language setting, obviously English. Scheduled shutdown is off. Let's go ahead and back out. And let's go to Bluetooth. So here's where you're going to go. If you want to connect it to your Bluetooth soundbar, your home theater system, your speaker, your headphones, your earbuds, you're going to go here, click it on, search for your device, and click it. And then you should be able to pair to your Bluetooth speaker, headphones, or whatever Bluetooth device you are using. Let's go back home and let's take it to the HDMI one or two where the fire stick is waiting for us and we're back we are on the fire stick home screen so this is what the picture looks like with the light room on i have i do have the lights on in this room so let's go ahead and turn them off turn off lights okay and just like that the picture quality with the lights off looks a lot better so even with the lights on with the those 900 ansi lumens are helping it out uh, with the light on so you can make out the, the picture or the image. But again, with the light off, it's always gonna look better. So let's go ahead and take it to YouTube to test out a video. And we are back testing it out. So I do love the way it looks so far. The colors are very bright, I love it. Let's go ahead and make sure we are on the highest quality. YouTube quality. And we are on the highest quality, which is 1080p by 48. But I do believe it goes up to 1080p by 60. As you see, it looks pretty great. The colors are very bright and nice. Pretty vibrant. Now let's look at it with the lights on. So with the lights on, it still does look pretty good. You're still able to make out the picture, the image, the video. Um, it's not too bad uh, so far. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at another video. This is the another projector that I tested out by DB Power that they were kind enough to send me to test out. It's a very awesome projector and uh, I do like it. So let's make sure we're on the highest quality. And again, this is with the lights on. As you see, we are at 1080p. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off. And with the lights off, as you can see, it's always gonna look better. So now that we've done the lights on and lights off test, let's go ahead and check the sound, the, the sound quality. All right, this is a sound quality test. So we are at 20. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let's go ahead and take it up to 50. And we are at 50. Sounds pretty good. Now let's go ahead and take it out to max volume. That was the sound quality test and we are back on the home screen of the fire stick and uh we're gonna go ahead and continue on the table with our final thoughts and uh your conclusion all right so we are back i did do a video test i did do a sound quality test i tried it with the lights on and off uh, i went through the settings and uh my overall uh, opinion is it's not that bad again this is my first time trying it out uh, I am going to test it out for a week to see how it uh, compares to my Yeber K2S projector. Uh, I believe my Yeber K2S projector is 800 ANSI lumens, so this is 100 ANSI lumens more. Um, so again, I am going to test it out for a week. 
And if y'all want to take a look at it, I will put the link in the description. You can pick it up on Amazon for $259.98 with a $100 coupon. So you are going to be able to save yourself a couple of bucks. Again, the image looked pretty good. I did like it. It does say 4K support, but when we were on the YouTube, uh, we were at the highest quality of 1080p. So 4K support means you should be able to click that 2160p. And although we were on 4K videos, I did not see the option for 2160p. So I don't know if that's either the projector or software issue or anything because usually with 4K support, and I do have a 4K Fire Stick, you should be able to go to the highest quality of 2160p. Other than that, um, I, I believe that's pretty much it. I am going to uh, play with it for about a week or two weeks and I will probably do an update video. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the like button and subscribe. Also, if you want to see me connected to Bluetooth headsets or Bluetooth speaker, let me know in the comments below and I will get to you. Also, let me know in the comments below, what did you think about this video? Did you like it? Would you get this projector or would you save yourself a couple of bucks and get a better projector? Uh, let me know your opinions as well and I will try to get to you. Other than that, it's been Andy. Y'all stay safe. Peace out. Bye bye.